can't sleep, huh? Oh, it's just... I've had a few restless nights lately. For a while, no? Huh? Ever since we've been traveling together, you've been like this. You haven't slept well in a while, have you? Uh, you noticed? Any idea why? There must be a reason for it. There is, actually. Hey there guys, and welcome back to Bravely Default. So in the last episode we managed to recover the toxin from the ruins, and we need to go drop it off at HQ. I don't know, there's something about it that makes me uneasy carrying it around. Now in 20 episodes, I did do some leveling up, we are now currently at level 36, we left off at level 35, so not a huge difference, but check it out, the idea is now a Valkyrie. And I've been trying to find some way to optimize the Valkyrie class, and I haven't ha been having a whole lot of luck to be honest. So let's see, let's deal with this uh, worm thing right now first, before we progress onward. So we will put the Blizzard to this thing, it's weak to ice, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anya's is usually the one that wrecks it more than anything else, so we will go for some black magic, we will go for some blizzard dry, and we will just wreck this soil eater with, for all it's worth. And ring a bell, I'm going to have you do some sword magic onto your arrow thingamajiggy, and we are going for some bug slaying. I've completely forgotten just how good the... What's it called? The sword magic and the hunter class are together. And look at that, it's like 1800 damage. And this thing is fairly tanky, too. Oh, right, I was doing some job point grinding, too, so I turned the experience back off, so I will fix that right now. So we're going to go to Tactics, we're going to go to configuration. we're going to go to Difficulty, we're going to flip this back on, and we're going to flip this back to normal. So that's more or less uh, my grinding configuration. Experience off, and this step all the way to the maximum. Right now I have uh, White Magic on Idea right now as a Valkyrie slash White Mage, just so I can use her for buffing. I haven't been able to find a good way to optimize her yet. the toxic mist? So it was not magic, but an alchemical concoction. We are in your debt. I'll have our physicians start researching how to make a neutralizing agent. Wait, would you consider destroying that sample now? On oh, yes. I understand the need for a cure for the poison, but I would like you to dispose of that sample. Find a method that ensures it can never again be used. You can incinerate it in the lava. Yes, I see. If there is no danger the toxic mist will be used again, then we have no need to neutralize it. That would also remove the temptation to use the sample to turn the tables on our enemy. I do not have the resolve to say with full confidence that we could prevail without it. Therefore, I will gladly do as you ask, Gwynvestal. Let us throw this master sample into the lava. I thank you for accommodating my request. I am happy that my words fell on wise ears. Commander Goodman, we have trouble! What's wrong? It's the enemy! They've launched a full-scale assault! They attack with tremendous force. We may not be able to hold the line if they keep this up. You seemed okay up to now, though. What happened? They have begun using mithril ammunition. Mithril? About a year ago, the enemy captured the mithril mine we were working. There was something in my journal about that, come to think of it. Let's see. Uh, here it is. Mithril is a hard metal refined from mithril ore mined in Eisenberg. Over 80% of all mithril in the world is mined in Eisenberg, where it is said precious orichalcum has also been found. Orichalcum is a precious metal unique to Eisenberg, and the hardest material in the known world. It can be used to produce weapons and armor of the highest strength, and it releases great energy when melted at high pressure. We tried to recapture the mine, but the sword bearers had put children to work down there. 
children? Yes. I'm sure you've heard tales of canaries being taken into mines as an early warning for dangerous gases. Well, the sword bearers call the children they've abducted and forced into hard labor canary boys. When we tried to rescue the children, those cowards used them as human shields and barricaded themselves inside. Using these canary boys to warn of danger? I cannot believe the Black Blades would stoop to such tactics. It's despicable! We can't let them get away with it! We must do something to save the children! What are we waiting for, then? Let's take back the Mithril Mine. The mines are crawling with sword bear soldiers. It would be foolhardy to rush in without support. Even so, we must take action. You can focus on retaking the mine. We'll rescue the children they're using down there. Alrighty, sounds like a plan that I am completely not going to follow because there is a side quest we can do. And this is partially why I have uh, my build currently built towards a boss battle rather than for wild encounters. This is actually one of the things I would like to see in this game is I would like to be able to set presets for my builds just so I can flip back and forth between them without having to work with like all of my abilities and work with all of my stats and all of my jobs. Because it gets a little tedious after a little while. Alright, I'm just gonna have uh, Rainbow handle these guys because he can take them out just entirely by, by himself. So we're gonna equip some sword magic there with the fire, so we're gonna equip that, and then we are gonna go for some beast slaying. And he can uh, pretty much take them out by himself, or at least for the most part. Whatever's left, uh, Anyas will clean up. Okay, he can mostly do it by himself. So we'll just have everyone else uh, finish off the last, uh, last tiger here. Come on. Not quite. I've also noticed that these things can do something called Chomp, and it takes away all of your HP, like all of it. It brings you down to one hit point, it's the worst. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal up after this, that sucks. Alright, Anya, so you know what to do. Magic! Kira! Yourself, yourself, him, and him. Good. Not really how I want to be using my MP right now, but that's not the end of the world. What do you make of that ship? I have no idea. Oh, you're back. Has something happened? Oh, uh, we've just been seeing a mysterious ship pass by us in this harbor ever since the Civil War started. It gives me the creeps. It's an old sailing ship that's falling to pieces. It always shows up on foggy nights. Has it tried to harm you? No, it's just an eerie sight to see. We sometimes hear screams coming from it as well. Screams? Well, not exactly screams, more like really loud muttering. You can hear it even when the ship is way off in the distance. It says something like, no, no, not here. Perhaps they're looking for something? When do you see this ship? The last time was a night about two weeks ago. It always sails across the eastern end of this harbor from north to south. Sounds suspicious. We should go check it out. Say that. I met Steiner over at Central Command. So that wily fox yet lives, hey? Who's always the brains of the four warriors of the shield barriers? How's he doing? Good! He's been moving up in the world while we've been hiding out here. He was clad in some magnificent armor. It was really shiny, and by the look of his face, really uncomfortable. And you were? Is she still trying to steal Commander Goodman away from his wife? Didn't see Nuer, but who knows? Rumor has it she's budding Steiner for a promotion. Battling, I meant to say battling, not budding. Kind of the same thing, though. Hmm, they're fighting to get ahead of one another? That doesn't sound like the four warriors we know. I wager scrambling up that ladder of success is a lot more trouble than we can imagine. Yeah, don't think I'll ever understand all that lore. 
Just order me to stay in the fray to bust some heads, that's all I need. Waha, <laughs> well said. Well said indeed. I agree. It's much more sim- it's considerably simpler just to... Uh, just do the manual work. Okay, so we are gonna set sail. We gotta go find that ship. It brings up all the suspicion. So what we are looking for is... Some kind of strange fog. But it might only appear at nighttime, so... This might be a while? Alright, time to go looking for fog. Aha! Gotcha! Mm -hmm. Where did this fog come from? Look at that! Is that what I think it is? <gasps> it's heading for us! What do we do? Oh, we're gonna board it. SS Funky Francisca. Best name ever. There's nobody on board. No, don't be so sure. It is haunted by the ghosts of the crew. <gasps> you mean this is a ghost ship? A shame that only the souls of men inhabit this place. I'd happily lay the souls of women to rest. Aha! Guess that yet breathe a rare honor. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to move. Obviously. Oops. What's up, bro? Is he alive? Are you the captain of the ship? Close! I am actually the acting captain! The real captain is right here at my side. But I suppose you can't see him, can you? S so this is a g ghost ship. Welcome to our pirate ship, the SS Funky Francisca. I am Captain Barbarossa, leader of the Black Blades Naval Force. The Black Blades? You must be the Wind Vester and her companion. A pleasure to meet you. What? How do you know of us? I am a ranking member of the Black Blades. Of course I have kept abreast of your comings and goings, Vestal. You have made quite a name for yourselves, in fact. Were you not aware? <laughs> I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. <laughs> I leave the helm to you, me matey. We'll make this a fair fight. Yar! Yar! The ship is coming apart! How clumsy of me to step through the deck. <laughs> no ghost is that clumsy. He must be alive. I am indeed the genuine article. A man in the flesh. Though the only one among my crew. <laughs> Why the ghost ship? I sail this ship in search of a certain something prized by the commander and myself. A certain something? You might call it adventure. Surely you don't have to be a man of the sea to know that. I know what you speak of. A man's soul craves nothing more than the romance of adventure. Well, aren't you two getting on famously, ring a bell? Perhaps it is something women and children can never understand. If you think about it rationally, it does seem absurd. But absurd or not, it is adventure I seek. 
and the years I have spent wandering the seas in folly have shown me many truths. That's it! The truth! Now, let us have a little fun. See how you fare against my great axe! <laughs> Alright, big boy. Barbarossa, your asterisk is mine. Oh, uh, oh, that cutscene was so freaking long. Okay, well. He is a physical attacker. He has a giant axe. He also has about uh, 250 attack power. So, his attacks will hurt. Here's my plan. Uh, we're gonna default. We're gonna default. We're gonna default. And the idea, this is why I have uh, the Valkyrie slash White Mage set up. My plan is to overbrave. We are gonna go set up a Spirit Barrier on ourselves. This is going to keep the damage off of us, and we are going to go for some White Mage. We're gonna go for a Protect on all allies. And get their defenses up as quickly as possible. And we'll see how this works out. I have, I have not tried this out yet, so I don't know, but... Eh, I figured it, I figured it was worth trying. For whatever reason, the Valkyrie class doesn't really do a whole lot of damage outside of its BP using skills. Defang, what does that do? Physical attack down, I'm fine with that. I am perfectly A-OK -okay with that. Alright, Tiz, I am going to have you... Uh, what else, what can I do here? I'm just going to have everyone default. Go. Because he's going to brave shell split. Ah, oh, my physical defense went down. That's not too bad, this is why we buff, this is why we buff. So let's see, Tiz, I'm gonna have you defend again, defend, 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 go. Oh right, you used Brave. I should have had you use that turn to attack, oopsie. Okay, well that's perfectly fine, we are gonna go for some attacks here. We are gonna go for... I'm actually gonna put a Spirit Barrier on to Tiz so he can stroke off damage. And then we are going to go ahead and we are going to equip a Thundra to his sword. This guy is weak against electricity, being the city lover that he is. Let's see, on this I'm gonna have you Brave, we're gonna unleash a whole bunch of... We're going to do a time magic. Uh, nothing that's going to be overly helpful. We already outspeed this guy, so there's no point in using slow gun on him. So we'll just go for some Thundra magic. So Thundara, 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 and another Thundara. Ring bell. Um, he actually, this guy also has things on him, so we're going to go for some thieving. We are going to go for mug. And try to get that item off of him. And we're doing about 600 damage, which is pretty good. Come on! Ow! Oh. It hurts! We're doing about, you know, a thousand damage for each Thundara, so that's pretty good. And each uh, sword hit is doing about 700, that's actually not too bad. Ow! Okay, so now, Idea is back in the game, and everyone just needs to default. Uh, I'm actually gonna use this turn to heal with on, yes, because everyone's starting to get low on hit points. So, let's see, we are going to go for a Cura on all allies, bring about the Fault. We're going to go ahead and overbrave. We're going to brave with Idea. Let's see, we're going to do this four times. I want to go for a Cura on all allies. And then we're going to go for a Protect on Ring Bell. We're going to go for a Protect on Anyas and a Protect on Tiz. Now, Idea doesn't have the best mind, so the Cura doesn't really do a whole lot. It's just primarily to help keep our HP topped up. And that's about it. So, you can tell my Idea is uh, basically just acting as my... Defense, I guess? My strategic defense? I, I don't know what they even call it. Everyone, does, everyone defend. Go. Okay, physical defense is down. And double damage. That's 800. Bring about barely lives it. I think he's down to negative 1 now, so now is our chance to attack freely. So, let's see, we are going to go for some attacking, we are going to go for a special, we're going to go for Hack and Slash, followed by two regular attacks. Let's see, at Anyas, I'm going to have you Brave, we're going to go for another Thundara segment. Ring Bell, you're in pretty bad shape, so I sh probably should heal you, so we're going to go for a quick High Potion on yourself, followed by two Muggings. So let's see, move on, Mug Thief, Mug Thief, go! Man, these high potions don't. Yes, we got the war axe. This is gonna be a sweet weapon. Speed this up a little bit. Time to settle this. Let's 
This gets the fence down, so we're doing more damage, and it's all good. Everyone default. Another still but but does no damage thanks to my awesome Spirit Barrier, which I think is going to fall off fairly soon. So let's see here. Tiz, you're fine for the time being. Onyx, you're fine for the time being. Rainbow, you're fine for the time being. Yeah, I'm going to have you brave. I think you can reset the Spirit Barrier, so we're going to try that. I've never tried it before. I didn't think to, but we'll give it a shot. So we'll go for some protects on all allies. Go! So basically the purpose of the uh, Spirit Barrier is just to protect Adia while she's in their native BP. Because you won't be able to do anything otherwise. And also Tiz's sword magic should be falling off fairly soon. So we kind of need to attack. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we are going to go for some attacks, some regular attacks. I guess we're going to go ahead and use special piercing bolt, followed by two thundaras. And Rainbow, we're going to land this your special. Go. Think you're ready? So maximum draw will also help to increase our crit rate, which is going to be awesome. And hopefully we can get some nice crits in here while we see, while we're getting all of our specials going. Ooh, 2,000 damage. Sweet! Plus with the magic boost, we're now doing 1,200 damage. Even nicer. Show split on... Oh, Rainbow's dead. That's fine, though. We can bring him back up. Because now that he has braved, he is now in a negative BP, which means we have a chance to heal ourselves. So we're going to go for a Phoenix down on... Ring-a-bell. And I'm going to have Anyas just quickly heal us up. So we're going to go for a Cura on all allies. Okay, let's see. I believe I have uh, cover... Not cover. Protect ally on Adia, so she should jump in front if someone tries to attack ring -a -bell. So we should, we're should we fine to leave ring -a -bell where he is right now. So everyone default and go. Yep, right there. Thanks to uh, Protect Ally, it did decide to took the hit for Ring Bell. So I'm just gonna leave Ring Bell with only 200 hit points. So let's see, we are gonna go for a uh, Protect on Anya, a Protect on Anya, a Protect on Tiz, and I think a Protect on Idea. Just to reduce all the damage that's being taken. And unfortunately, it sounds like we're going to lose our special. That's a shame, but that's fine. And the D is now out of, H out of MP, so we can no longer make use of the Spirit Barrier. That is fine. However, he's down to negative BP right now, so we can use this chance to attack. So we are going to go for Sword Magic. Equip the Thunder to the Blade, and we're going to go for two attacks. On this, I'm going to have you Brave, and we are going to go for... Uh, we're going to heal Ring of Bell, because he pretty badly needs it. Followed by... Two Thundaras to the face. And Rainbow, I'm gonna have you. I might just have Rainbow use God's Speed Strike. And we'll see what that does. Eh, 1700, that's not too bad. I feel like you could have done better with this uh, regular attack, so. Alright, everyone default. And he might be almost done, because he just braved twice. Got that hit? Yep, down to negative two. We are fine to attack then. So we're going for two attacks while we still have the blade charged up. And then we're going to go for, I think, a Cura on all allies. Let's get our HP topped up, followed by a Thundara to the face. Get that shocking damage in there. Ring a bell, I'm going to have you go for... Eh, what else can I do? Let's just go for a regular attack. Nice! Alright, everyone, default this turn. And unfortunately, I can't use the Spirit Barrier anymore, but I just can still get my team's defenses up. So we're gonna go for... Oh, wait, we're out of MP. Well, no shit. Okay, well, in that case, we're gonna go for an all... We're gonna start doing some offense then. So, we are gonna go for a... Jump then and do some damage. Or potentially judgment. 
We're gonna go for a jump. See what that does. Let's see, Tiz, I'm gonna have you attack twice. I'm just gonna have you default, bring ball default, go. 800, eh. Could've been better. This is what I mean by when I said the Valkyrie doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. So I'm having a hard time optimizing it. Okay, Tiz, defend. Oh yes, we're gonna go for three black magics. So Thundora, Thundora, Thundora. And Ring of Bell, I'm gonna have you attack this guy while he's still in the red. An idea? Let's uh, let's try a judgment. Let's see what that does. I mean, this guy's gotta be almost dead pretty soon. Judgment, 800. Okay, that's not that great, but that's fine, though. Okay, Tiz, I'm gonna have you attack while the... I don't have own default, because I'm pretty sure he's going to brave his turn. Yep, called it. Thank you, Angelic Ward. Don't hit Rainbow. You know, I'm actually surprised that you didn't jump in there. Go figure. Okay, so let's see. Tiz, I'm gonna have you go for some attacks, because... Arnus doesn't have any more... MP left, so we are going to go for Phoenix down onto Bring a Bell, followed by a High Potion to get his HP back up, followed by your special. Forgive me. Oh, this man still standing. We've been blasting him all freaking day long, and he's still standing! Ugh, I want your class so much. Everyone the fault. We're fine. Still fine. Rainbow's not fine. Actually, Rainbow still has 23 hit points left. Alright, I'm fine with this. Let's see, Tiz, I'm gonna have you go for some all-out attacking. Thundora, attack, attack, attack. Anya's, oh, yes, I'm gonna have you use some items on this, because we are very low on hit points. So two onto Ring a Bell and one onto yourself. I'm gonna have Ring a Bell do some attacking, and Adia, I'm gonna have her. Just go for some regular attacks, I think. Wow, this guy's gotta be like almost dead. I really wish I had the examine on him right now, just so he could know how much HP he has left. But this guy is bulky. Are you fine to attack this turn? Yes, we are. Okay, everyone attack. Ooh, Dia has access to a special. We're using it. Alright, what boost do we get? We get critical hit, critical hit rate up by 4, 400%. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so we are going to defend this turn because he's going to come after us with a vengeance. So, so far this boss isn't too hard. It's just basically just all physical attacks. Now that we have a chance to attack without any problems. So we're going to go for a special on Tiz, hack and slash, followed by a regular attack. Honestly, I'm just going to have you heal us because we are low on hit points again. And I'm going to throw one on ring -a bell just for good measure. And I'm going to have Adia go for a Judgment. Try and get that crit going. Yep, there it is, he's done. So, oh no, not a hard boss battle at all, just, uh, just kind of took a little while. He has some monstrous HP. And you gain a level, and you gain a level. And we got Decimate! It sounds awesome. And Anti-Magic! Also awesome. Alright, Pirate. 
Affects enemy attributes with immensely powerful attacks. High physical attack favors axes. Especially is Adrenaline Rush. So a pretty decent HP, strong strength. Not much in terms of dexterity, but... This looks promising. Invested me, Windvestal. <laughs> Such power. <laughs> Forgive me, Suleiman. Commander, it seems my time is up. Oh, jeez. Okay, so during that cutscene, I looked up how much HP he has. He had 60,000 hit points. 60,000. So no wonder that battle took forever. Oh, this ship is awesome looking. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna check out our new abilities, because we got new stuff. Anti-magic. Raises magic defense by 50% for 4 turns when hit by a magical attack. Passive ability, sounds awesome. And Adia, she picked up Decimate. Allies and enemies with 10% or less HP remaining will suffer equal damage. Will suffer damage equal to their remaining hit points. So I guess uh, I could have used that on uh, Barbarossa if I had it, maybe? Who knows? And uh, there's not really anything else that I really need from the Spellfancer. I mean, it's going to take like, like 4,000 jaw points to reach the next level. So let's, uh, let's experiment for a little while. Let's go and try out this pirate class. So we have access to double damage, deals 2 times the damage of a conventional attack to one target, and we have Adrenaline Rush. So physical attack and physical defense each rise by 50% for 5 turns when your HP falls below 20%. Neat! So tis! Yo ho ho, a pirate life for you. And we are going to equip that axe we stole. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be freaking awesome. Alrighty, in the next episode, uh, we have more side quests to do. So until next time, thank you guys so very much for watching this. And I'll be having a fantastic day.